Hey everyone, this is Prince Bright Star, and welcome to Let's Grind. Let's Grind is going to be my way of getting past long periods in games where there isn't a whole lot happening in game, and I'm essentially building levels for upcoming fights. This is something that happens more commonly in the older games of the Fantasy Star series. This isn't much of an issue for Fantasy Star Online and onwards, at least until we get to the end game of those. If you're watching this on YouTube after the live stream, please feel free to skip to the next video at any time. No story progression will be made during this. The idea behind streaming this is that it'll allow me to do some Fantasy Star related Q&A with viewers of the show who may not be able to make it to the meetups that happen in-game. Now I do want to note this is also a test, and depending upon how things go, will determine if I continue to do this in the future. My area lacks an internet connection that I would consider fast enough for this, so I will be keeping an eye on the stream quality. If I notice quality issues, I may choose to not do this live in the future. I know for a fact that the quality already needed to be reduced just to get it to be within my bandwidth capabilities. Anyway, let's get going! Alright, looks like we're running into a man-eater first here. We're gonna take care of this real quick. But the idea here is I actually want to get over to the coast here. And so, at the coast, there we're going to basically be fighting a bunch of fishmen through the majority of this live stream here. And here's our first encounter. So as you can see, they do give out quite a lot of experience as well as Mesetta. Now, pretty much for the rest of this, this is going to have a much more relaxed atmosphere, like I said. So if anybody has any questions they want to ask uh, regarding the Fantasy Star series, go ahead and, uh, and ask it. Looks like Noah just leveled up. Okay, I think it's time we break out the fire spell. Thank you. 
Alright, let's go ahead and heal everybody up a little bit here. Okay, there was another level up there. One thing I am noticing every now and then is a little bit of stuttering in the audio. Okay, Meow just leveled up there.
Now I've got two main goals for this uh, event here. Uh, the first is basically to make sure that I reach a sufficient amount of Meseta to make it so that we don't have to stop uh, after this uh, for any further grinding. The other point of this is also to essentially level myself up, as I mentioned before. Okay, there's a level for Noah. Now the reason I'm sticking to this area here is the fact that this is the only place that the fishmen actually will spawn consistently, or at least as far as I've found. In some of the other areas around here, you'll also get a secondary sea creature, but fishmen seem to be uh, at least 95% of the time what spawns here. I'll probably make this the last fight before I go and uh, check in with, with, with Suelo. Well, the RNG got me there. Oh wow, there's a whole set of people leveling up there. Alright, over to Kamini. The game just doesn't want to let me heal. Ah, 
Okay, let's do a quick little check-in on our Mesetta here. And we're already at 1852 here.
I'm probably gonna need to heal up Odin soon. There's a whole set of level ups there. Let's go and heal up the rest of the party here.
Looks like somebody else is watching now, so welcome! Okay, for Odin's sake, I think we're gonna make our way back over to Kamini. Alright, let's check in on what we've got. 
Ooh, an arrow to the knee. Thankfully, I'm still an adventurer. Thank <laughs> you. 
And given, and given Noah's health, as well as his magic points, I think now's a good time to do that. Looks like Meow just leveled up as well there. Okay, 72.64.
Another arrow to the knee. Okay, it looks like Noah learned the wind spell at one point here. Let's go ahead and check that out. As you can see, Alice also learned the fire spell at one point here. But there's not much point in using it on Alice given how much damage she does. At least not right now.
That's another arrow. Thank <laughs> you. 
I think we're at that point where the levels are gonna start to really slow down now. Probably gonna go heal after this fight. Oh hey, so as you can see here, we're actually up against 8 Swarm now. And that's because we've got Noah in the party here. Now if you've probably noticed, not all monster groups have up to 8 enemies at the same time. The Fishmen, for instance, will cap out at just 5.
Okay, 
There's another level for Meow and Noah. I think we can heal up Alice at this point.
You're still with me at this point. I do want to talk a little bit about some of the stuff that we saw last night from the live broadcast for Fantasy Star Online 2. And there were a couple of big reveals in the uh, in the event last night. The first one, of course, being the new opening for Fantasy Star Online 2. And that was kind of an interesting one, to be certain, because it took the idea of one of the collaborations that had been done in the past, specifically Space Battleship Yamato, and essentially applied that to the new opening. So, if you haven't seen it yet, the way that the opening works is you've got the arcs coming down from the sky in their arcs interception silhouettes, and basically, whatever is causing these phantoms to come out basically causes a phantom Space Battleship Yamato to come out. And so because of that, the Arcs essentially need to first freeze the water to hold it in place, and then they need to board it and attack it. Uh, we stop seeing what is actually happening at the time that they are basically standing on the ice about to get on board. Uh, but it has also been confirmed that this is going to be a new 12-player boss in the future, so... Uh, it'll be interesting to see how that one plays out, but let's also keep in mind with relationship to this one that this is also looking very similar to Big Varda as well, so I'm curious how they're going to differentiate the fight from that fight. Now, I'm also curious uh, about the whole gathering system and Franca's new uh, store, essentially, area, where basically you've got a bunch of... Uh, basically, the gathering system is going in place, and as part of that, there's a new area opening up where you can essentially trade in those materials for uh, different crafting items, and you can eventually craft two rings. Uh, I'm curious how those are going to play out. Uh, supposedly the rings are going to affect Photon Arts. Uh, I just don't know how yet. Uh, but we'll uh, we'll see how that uh, how that plays out. The uh, the two kinds of gathering that can be done are through mining as well as through fishing. So we'll see how that goes. And of course, we've also got our normal rotation of holidays coming up. So, once Valentine's Day is over, then of course we have White Day that follows that up in Japan. Once again, that is a Japanese uh, Eastern holiday. It is not celebrated in America. Now there's also a chance that there's also something else that could be 
behind everything in episode 4. Like like I said, um, I have yet to even start into episode 4. I'm still waiting on the translation team to finish up those scenes in Matterboy 3-3 uh, before I can even uh, progress further in Fantasy Star Online 2's story. But the big question is who is it that's causing these issues on Earth that requires the arcs to be there now? Uh, initially, I had said that more than likely it was the fact that Dark Falls Elder had visited Earth uh, during the Fantasy Star Online 2 on stage events, but there's a chance there could be something else at work here. And we have not run into it, at least uh, in terms of the Let's Plays I've been doing here uh, at this point, but there is a well known character called Mother Brain, uh, which is very prevalent throughout the series. They've had things to do... They've basically been a part of the series in multiple games, including Fantasy Star 2, Fantasy Star Zero, and Fantasy Star Universe Ambition of the Illuminus. So, it'll be interesting to see if Mother Brain makes their return here. And if they do, that kind of goes in sync with the idea that the events here on Earth could actually be leading us to Algol. And it's going to require some specific things for that to happen. One, it's going to require, first, that they, that they're pre that they make their presence known. That's the first thing. Um, and secondly, it's going to require that at some point, whatever piece that Dark, Fel that Dark Falls Elder left of himself on Earth, that piece needs to be captured at some point. Uh, it doesn't matter how it's captured, but if that piece is captured, and Mother Brain actually does exist, then that basically leaves the plot in such a way whereby the events of Fantasy Star 2 can actually take place from there. Because with the captured Dark Falls, uh, that will end up in Pandora's box, and then it essentially means that Mother Brain is essentially what drove the Earthlings to get to Al Gol in the first place. And I realize that this is spoiling territory, but frankly, if you're with me at this point here, and we're 90 minutes in at this point, um, I salute you for, uh, for sticking around with me here. Looks like Meow just leveled up there. I realize that this is very meta, what I, what I was just talking about. The It's essentially the idea that all the games in the Fantasy Star series are connected in some way. And for the most part, we can now connect Fantasy Star Online, Fantasy Star Universe, and Fantasy Star Online 2 together. Uh, or rather, the series that makes up those, uh, those sub-series of the Fantasy Star series. Uh, the one question has always been uh, the connection of Algol to the rest of the series. And that's basically what this theory is suggesting. That the events that take place in Fantasy Star Online 2 Episode 4 are going to lead towards the events that take place in Algol. Or at least uh, in relationship to the Earthlings involved in it. Uh, obviously, the events of what happened long, long ago between the energy-based being, uh, the Great Light, and the Profound Darkness, that is, that all takes place before the Earthlings ever arrive, uh, as does this game, since this is only just a few hundred years after Weiss uh, basically brought Palma under one rule. Let's go ahead and heal up a little bit here.
Okay, let's head back over to Kamenit to get healed up. Okay, 15,990. At this point, let's go ahead and save the game.
Heal everybody up a little bit here.
That's another arrow.
Okay, for Odin's sake, I think we'll make this the last battle before we see Swelo. Whoops! Looks like the RNG got me there. Okay, we're at 24,456. Still got a while to go here. Let me go ahead and save the game again real quick here. Oh, I think I just one-shot that fish man. About a 30 to 45 second delay on the uh, on the stream itself. So that's how I could tell. Definitely close, though. It was off by two hit points.
have a uh, comment here. Um, yes, uh, the plan here is to be overpowered, but just because I'm going to be overpowered in levels here, that doesn't mean I'm necessarily ready for everything that's coming up. Uh, there is a lot of gear that I need to acquire even after I do all this here. Something else that I'm going to mention here, though, is I'm also not going to be max level, not even close to it, uh, by the time I'm done here today. Well, thank you for that comment. One other thing I will note is, uh, even if I do happen to struggle at one point here, uh, there's actually a tactic that I used way back in my speedrun, which allowed me to get past pretty much all the bosses here. And it's the fact that all the magic in the game, uh, plus any guns that are used, do a set amount of damage, no matter how strong or weak you may be compared to that.
Uh, Fantasy Star released back in 1987 in Japan, a mere two days after Final Fantasy released there. It was for, as they call the Sega Mark III over there, uh, the SG-1000, and elsewhere in the world it was called the Sega Master System. No problem. Yeah, I think there's like a 35 to a 45 second delay on here. Uh, no, quite literally, Meow had been sold into slavery, and the salesman was asking for a billion Masetta at first, but then he just accepted the Laconian pot. Um, Meow stuck with Alice because Meow had no way of opening the Ashlyn, which was around its neck. Uh, quite literally, it cannot open. It, it could not open the bottle, and that's actually referenced even further in the series in uh, Fantasy Star: End of the Millennium. Uh, where there is a cat in the uh, in one of the caves that uh, states it is able to open a bottle, um, and basically once you get Odin in the party, and since Meow is Odin's partner, and since Odin decides to come with Alice, that's why Meow is still in the party. Now the funny thing is this whole kill Medusa thing, that's optional in multiple ways.
Oh, definitely. Medusa is a boss in the game. And to fight it, you're supposed to get Odin a mirror shield, which will prevent the petrification from happening. Uh, at this point, I'm not certain how I want to handle that fight just yet. Yes, indeed. I think we'll be seeing a bunch of characters leveling up pretty shortly here.
I don't think I changed it once I uploaded it. Um, I was going back and forth on a few names for it, though. Yeah, the dungeons uh, back in these days, um, you basically had to have your own, uh, gra um, I think it's graph paper, uh, whereby you would actually map out each step so you could understand where you were going. And so far, we've only dealt with uh, fairly small dungeons. They get a lot more complex uh, up on uh, Dissolus. Even here on Palma, there's one that goes up like five flights or so.
Yeah, I was talking about that a little bit earlier, the uh, PSO2 live stream. Um, a big uh, announcement, of course, being the uh, the new uh, the new opening, which is uh, pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Gathering, uh, from what I can tell, at least um, from the beta version that they're playing there, uh, it looks like you can do maybe about a hundred events of gathering or fishing uh, before you run out of stamina, essentially. Um, the cafe, we'll have to see what uh, comes of that uh, in terms of what you can actually make there. Um, I know you can get two rings, the question is, what can they actually do? From what I understand, they're supposed to affect photon arts, but in what way and how is that different compared to customizing photon arts? Uh, that I don't know yet. Um, going back to the opening, uh, that is... Um, that's basically a huge reference to Space Battleship Yamato, so uh, the fact that they did that collab uh, so long ago and now are essentially bringing it back uh, is uh, gonna be really fun to fight that uh, fight that uh, area but I'm also kind of curious how that's gonna be different from Big Varda um, the new pets the um, I know we've got the two exploding ones and then also the Rappy uh, for the exploding ones the idea is actually kind of similar in a way to some of the monsters that you could have in Fantasy Star Online Episode 3 Card Revolution, whereby certain monsters would take damage for you instead of you yourself. And then, of course, the Rappy, which is uh, coming over from the anime, which uh, seems like it attacks really, really fast uh, compared to some of the other pets. But then again, what would you expect from something that can cross space-time? At this point, the Fantasy Star series is really not just only a commentary on science fiction, uh, but also in terms of time itself. Uh, the idea of what you do in the past can make major changes to the future. Uh, for instance, uh, and this, this kind of does go into spoiler territory here, so uh, mute me for a moment if you want to, but... The, um, the events of Fantasy Star Portable to Infinity, uh, once you beat the main game, uh, essentially wipe out the, uh, it essentially wipes out everything that was done in the original Fantasy Star Online series. So any work that you put into that, whether it be, uh, for just an hour or thousands of hours, everything that you did completely wiped out because Rico and Floen are now alive.
You know, quite literally what happens is Little Wing goes to Regol through a subspace bubble and um, essentially wipes out the events of the Fantasy Star Online series before the explosion of Regol ever takes place. And I can't. Then again, I'm taking it more from a literal standpoint. Uh, it's possible that that, in terms of Sega's mind, didn't actually happen. Uh, I'm just saying it like I saw it. But if we take it a step further, um, the idea that they're now running around. Uh, with the arcs implies that not just only are they accustomed to the arcs, but since they're familiar enough with the arcs, it's more than likely possible that the arcs and the people of Garal have a good working relationship. That providing there wasn't another accident with a subspace bubble. Well, that kind of leads back to my theory that the um, that everything that's happening on Earth uh, is essentially just a prequel story to lead things into Algol, essentially, because we know for a fact that the people of Earth do eventually reach Algol because the Earth is, uh, as they put it, essentially destroyed, and so they basically need to find a new home and something, whether it be Dark Falls or uh, another thought that came to me. Mother Brain uh, leads them to Algol. Yeah, the the show itself at this point seems to be kind of meandering. It's it's trying to get some kind of point across, but it's like stretching it out so thin because I think the plot that they had really only was going to last maybe two to three episodes in total. So they're just kind of stretching the rest of the season out. Algol is the star system that this planet is a part of. Uh, this planet being Palma. It's also one of our closest neighbors in the real world. If you do a search for Algol, it's also known as the... Uh, I believe it's the, the Medusa Eye. And it is a trinary star system. About, 
I think 92 or so light years away from us. There we go, it looks like Noah just leveled up. I took an arrow to the knee, but I'm still an adventurer. Hey, no problem. It, it, it takes a t it takes a while to kind of learn this stuff. I, I completely understand. Alright, Noah, why don't you show us what you can really do? It's an expensive spell, though. It actually started in the next game, Fantasy Star 2, and the reason for that is basically at this point in Algol's history, they have yet to actually develop techniques as we know them. They're, they're basically using magic at this point, and there is a very distinct distinction between what techniques and magic are. Magic, as you know, would be something that's magical, something completely unexplained. Uh, Noah is uh, an Esper. They basically know what the strongest magic in the world is. But when you start talking about techniques, that's a little bit different. That is actually uh, based more in science than in magic. And it's... I don't know how much you know about uh, what we've got in terms of... Uh, excuse me. In terms of the different ways that um, 
the, the different forms of matter. So you've got your solids, you've got your liquids, and you've got your gases. But then you've also got your plasma. And that's basically what uh, fire and lightning techniques are based on. And then you've also got your Bose-Einsteins, which is what ice is based on. Or at least that's kind of my theory in it. Um, techniques are essentially supposed to be more science-driven than magic-driven. I'm just going to get healed up real quick. Okay, 34,497. Doing good. And let's save the game. I'm not certain if Sega actually thinks it's thought out that far, but it's the understanding I've always gotten from it. Well, that's essentially, uh, that's essentially what it is. Um, so by manipulating photons, uh, somebody can essentially change those photons from... Uh, essentially a solid to a plasma, uh, effectively, uh, to create uh, balls of fire or lightning strikes. Or, in the case of ice magic, they convert something from the Bose-Einstein into a solid, basically warming it from a near sub-zero temperature up to something that's more solid. And that expansion essentially is what creates ice crystals uh, from out of essentially nothing. Hey, it, it's just a theory, but since I since I don't want Matt Pat after me, I'm not gonna say it's a game theory. Plus, let's be honest, photons kind of do everything in this series. Uh, even the Fantasy Star Universe introduced the concept of A photons, or uh, I guess another way of saying them is negative photons. And it's those negative photons that, uh, that essentially attracted the seed to Garal. I'd love the opportunity to work with him on it, actually.
You mean they haven't been this whole time? I mean, granted, we did fight Dark Ragna on, uh on the Ark ship more than out in the field, and then, uh, Dark Falls was, well, more, uh, more out in space with, uh, with all the ships being destroyed and such. One of the quirks of this, uh, of the sound engine that they're using in this game, uh, once you cast a healing spell, it tends to mess up the sound effects for any other attacks that follow it. My videos for Fantasy Star Online 2 story stop at the end of Episode 3, Chapter 2. Uh, the very next scene where you get the 3-3 matter board from Xiao is untranslated at this point. My understanding right now, though, is the translation team is more focused on getting all the menus and everything else like that updated for everything that changed in Episode 4 before 
uh, they're focusing back in on that again. But that doesn't mean uh, there isn't a ton of other content for me to do. We've still got the new content that's coming out next week with the new limited quest. We've got the White Day quest that's coming out, plus the uh, plus the gathering and fishing uh, and all that stuff coming out. Plus in May the uh, the new 12 player boss. Uh, I basically had my eyes closed. Uh, uh, essentially for that. Uh, essentially, I canceled out of everything and just quit out of the game as quickly as I could for Episode 4. Uh, just so that I could unlock Episode 1 and 3 so that my main character wasn't locked up in there, essentially. Oh, hey, a double level up. I mean, it's pretty obvious that whatever the first part of Episode 4 is, it has something to do with the players arriving on Earth. The, the, the question is really just what actually happens there. Uh, the one thing I do know for certain, though, is that it's been two years since Supposedly, episode 3 ended. And that I know just simply because it was uh, covered in one of the live broadcasts. If my theory is right, they know what they're doing. If it's not right, I don't know. Actually, if Sega wanted to be really smart, they would already be working on what the successor to Fantasy Star Online 2 is. And Fantasy Star Algol actually has a prime location for that to uh, take place. Uh, specifically, the years uh, leading up to this game. Um, say, one or two years before uh, Weiss, essentially. And Weiss is basically the person that unified the different areas of Palma under one name, essentially. Uh, I, think there's a, I think there's an opportunity for an MMO to be made uh, in that time period.
Okay, what's causing this stuttering? have plenty of space, so that can't be it.
I'm trying to hit a Mecena goal uh, with all the grinding that I'm doing here. Um, when I go to check in with Swalo again, I'm going to check in on that again. Um, I think we were at like about 35,000 at the last check-in, and I'm looking to reach around... Um, it's either 44,000 or 50,000. I, I, I need to look at my numbers again here. Uh, but the idea is I want to make sure that I get enough uh, so that I can essentially just run through each town and just buy things as I go, uh, rather than having to go through a second set of grinding uh, along the way here. And of course, any experience that I get will also help as well. No, 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 that is uh, the total amount that I expect to spend. So like, uh, one item, which will be coming up to shortly, uh, is around 3,000, I think. Another is 4,000. I think the most expensive um, is a vehicle, which costs around, I want to say 12,000, but I'm not 100% on that. Uh, but essentially, I want to get all the gear that I can uh, without, you know, having to spend time, uh, at another town. Uh, I would rather just get this all done in one shot. Um, because I'm, I've realized, uh, essentially that after what happened in episode 3, it, 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 it's just taking way too long to grind this stuff out, so anything I can do to kind of make that happen off-screen, uh, will be better. Um, and I did tout this series as being not just only a let's play, but also a long play as well. So I want to make sure I'm documenting everything. Uh, but that's why I've decided to also do this segment as kind of kind of a laid back kind of thing here. Um, I'm basically just going to put an annotation right at the front of this uh, saying, uh, if you want to skip this, go ahead and click here. Uh, for the next game, Fantasy Star 2, I'm actually going to have to do quite a bit of grinding, even worse than this. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to play that one out, uh, but I think my plan is actually going to be to go elsewhere in the series before we go to that one.
that was Fantasy Star 3 Generations of Doom. And it depended upon who you married. Actually, no, I take that back. It was this game. Uh, there is actually a non-canonical uh, ending in this game. It, it slipped my mind for a, for a brief moment there, but it, it, it is definitely there.
You should have seen me back in my days in World of Warcraft. They called me insane in the membrane there. That being the name of an achievement. I played Warframe at launch uh, on the PS4, but I haven't really touched it since then. My understanding is the PlayStation 4 beta keys have already gone out at this point.
Okay, I think this is probably a good time to check him with Swelo after this fight. Okay, let's see what we got. 46,146. So that actually does meet my goal that I'm looking for here. So with that, I'm going to end things here. Thank you for joining me today. This is Prince Bright Star signing off. I'll catch you next time. Thank you.